Inferno, book seven, X Factor number 36. And there's some of the demons on Earth. We got Cyclops, Phoenix, Beast, and Iceman. And they've been the main X-Men in the story. And then we've had the Exterminator Squad. Those have been the main ones. But we're going to start seeing everybody soon. Stan Lee presents Transformations. Oh, yeah. And things on Earth are, like, turning into shit. They got all kinds of weird shit starting to happen. It's a hot dog stand, for Pete's sake. So what's it doing trying to eat a kid? Written by Louise Simonson, Walter Simonson on pencils, Bob Whitecheck, Inker. Okay, and then we have Trish Tilby which they included in the X-Men 97 show. She's a love interest of Beast. As previously, inanimate objects continue to invent bizarre and antisocial behavior. You getting this, Rick? It's going in, but the interference we've been experiencing all over Manhattan. I can't vouch for what's going to show on the tape. Too bad your erstwhile boyfriend's coming off as quite the hero. Recant, monster. You're providing an excellent show, but we're far beyond your league and fire hydrant blast him oh oh swell now the hydrant wants a piece of the action more power than brain on that sucker smash so Iceman freezing it up yep icing dudes like you is what Iceman does best i can't believe it i'm sitting here talking to a fire hydrant the heat must be getting worse to me than i thought trish i didn't know they'd assigned you to midtown beat they've got us all out this city's a journalist bonanza not that we have much to show for it not like you you handled that creature superbly beast save that child these transformations are so unsettling. Beast, not Hank, and my own transformation. It's unsettling too, of course, not just your physical appearance. It's, I see. Come on, Iceman, it's getting hard to breathe around here. Is there anything I can do? I feel responsible. It's my fault you've mutated like this. And then she looks, she's given, got a tear going down because she's fucked up. Rumble. <laughs> Trish, what the heck? Eh. Anthropomized subway tracks run right below. Looking through the windows, it's packed with a rush hour crowd. Come on. And excellent. The transformation of Manhattan is near completion on my long range plan. Progresses nicely. They're in a cemetery. Soon my demons will return with the babies I require, including the special boy, the final piece that will drive his mother, the Goblin Queen, to madness. Little Madeline, reveling in her dream awakened powers, thinks she uses me. She will learn, though she is more potent than I had anticipated. That is all to the good. With that power fueled her pent-up rage and frustration, she will blow the lid off Manhattan. It will work as long as the father does not interfere. Even now, he tracks the child through the powers of the mutant Jean Grey. That possibility I did not anticipate. Okay, so they're bagging up babies and shit. That possibility I did not anticipate, but that should not remain a problem. By the time they arrive, I will have primed Manhattan to destroy them. Too bad that for now, Jean Grey is of such small use to me. So like the other, and yet, in her the light far outshines the darkness. And we got Jean, and we got Madeline. And prior, the clone, the goblin queen. I will be able to subvert neither her nor Scott Summers, but that may not be true of all of them. So ends your life, my darling Candy, but they've paid. I've destroyed those who have destroyed you, despite their sworn protection of demons. Beware, Dark Angel, how you denigrate my power. Who? I am called Nastir. It is I who promised Cameron Hodge that in facing you, he would not die and gave him courage to defy me to slaughter this woman whose only offense was to love me. Okay, yeah, so it was Cameron Hodge, duh. I always forget because I don't like the run. Phalanx, Phalanx Covenant. But you failed, I have killed him. Have you? He said you swore that his organization would prosper, yet I have wrecked it. It lies in shambles at my feet, destroyed by those wings, those malevolent wings. Dark, dark angel, you have one soul, but your wings have another. Maybe, but both are bent on your destruction. Crash. You, the ally who gave him the audacity for such evil, Evil? evil speaks to evil in its own language. It rends, it tears, and slashes and destroys. Demons ready! Enter Manhattan! Oh yes, those wings would kill me if they could, and you would let them. But as you see... Mother, come inside, quick! Boy, nearly finished transformation. Demons ready. Enter Manhattan. See Exterminators 3. You interrupt me, Crotus, at your peril. But you bring excellent news. It was such a pleasure watching a man struggle to reconcile dual natures, knowing that in the end, the lower one will always triumph. You disengage your spell too late, Nastir. I know where to find you. I have friends in Manhattan and responsibilities. Before I allow you to harm any more of those I love, I will unleash my evil on you.
and see you utterly destroyed. All right. The jets are a muffled roar, but she doesn't hear them. Manhattan's obelisks slash the sky, but she doesn't see. For Jean Grey's normal perceptions are clouded by a re-emerging sixth sense. Get away from me. Get away. Jean, what, what's the matter? Let me, let me help you. And after long months of living in a muffled world of merely physical pneumonia, she sees, hears, feels, tastes, smells, not just her own surroundings, but the psychic reality experienced by Scott Summers' infant son. Demons clawing at me. Wants to eat me. No. Master wouldn't like it. No. Get away. Alive, Scott. Okay. But, oh, I'm, I'm scared. They're claws. It hurts. I'm scared. Christopher, what's happening to him? Pull back, Jean. Back inside yourself. The baby's frightened. Not you. Have to stay with him. Have to follow my... Uh, Listen to me. You can stay in telepathic rapport without letting it overwhelm you. You used to know how. Pull yourself together or you'll be no use to him or to you. This is your fault. You're doing. You married that woman. Why did you have to marry her? The baby Christopher, he's yours and hers. Sweet, helpless little baby. Perfect, crying, scarred, half to save him. What's he doing inside my head? New York City subway system is the biggest, fastest, smelliest, noisiest, most crowded, down and dirtiest network of trains and tunnels in the world. But that's what New York is all about. The best and the worst. And right now it's worse than the stuff of nightmares. Excellent. A platform area inside, my friend, while we have room. Monsters. Monsters. You wound me. We're local celebrities. Heroes. You must have seen us on TV. Heroes, huh? Then why are you dudes climbing in here? Why? We're signing autographs. Iceman, I'm glad to see you. Yeah, right. Look, Trish, what happened between you and Hank? This hardly seems the time. It may be the only time we'll have. Things are bad out there. There are monsters in the tunnels worse than this. All right, about Hank, just... Try and understand, okay? The Hank I knew, well, he was special, handsome, gentle, and vulnerable, if not too bright. The Beast is a strong, cocky genius with fur and fangs and a glib rap. I'm glad he's recovered, even in his state. But I don't know him anymore. He doesn't need me. He frightens me. Don't let Hank's patter fool you, Trish. Inside, he's the same great guy he ever was. And right now... I think he needs you more than ever. The assault of the telepathic images comes in waves. First a gentle wash of impressions, then a mounting riptide that knocks and drags her from her senses, gasping, struggling for footing where there is no solid ground. And as she fights for control, she wonders, how can this be? He's just a baby. How can this be? It's better for the moment. Gotta stay on top of it next time. I used to be a full telepath, Scott. I learned how to handle these impressions, so... Why can't I do it now? It's started again. He's down there in the city somewhere. I'm, he's so scared. No, I'm scared too. He's Madeline's child, your child, and yet, no. Oh no, Scott, I can't feel him anymore. As we reach the city, I just lost him. I've never felt so alone. I thought it would be such a relief to have my mind back, but it's not. Crunch. No. Oh, fucking airplane turned into a demon. Gene, what is that thing? I don't know. Fire the afterburners. Make it. Let's go. Let's go. It almost looks like... Like, it's grabbing for us again. Zap. Psh, ram. Roll us over, Gene. I can get a shot at it. Look back. There. It was a jet. Not like any jet I ever saw was alive. I took out the one engine, but it has another. It should be able to limp. Oh my gosh. Swerve. Quick. What? I think it's the Empire State Building. Or some obscene parody. Look at our altitude. No building on Earth could be so tall. The subway's worm roars from its tunnel below City Hall, heading into Manhattan Bridge to cross over the East River into Brooklyn. All right, we're outside. We'll have a chance. Now brace yourselves. Why? What you gonna do? We're at why. We're gonna stop the train. Iceman, a drum roll, maestro, if you please. At first, the wheels show the barest slick of frost, a frost that grows and thickens into a solid mass of ice, which locks the wheels. And shriek, slam. We're off the rails. We're being thrown around worse than ever. Some heroes, what'd you think you were doing? You're worse than the subway worm. You're probably in cahoots with it. You should be uh, arrested for your reckless endangerment, you mutant monster. Oh, shut up and let them save your ungrateful lives. It'd serve you right if we let the train have you, beast. Like let the worm thrash around all it wants to. Once we're out and we will get out, 
crash we'll be safe we have arrived at our destination overlooking the scenic east river I gotta keep it light and distracting downplay the danger which is real and present avoid panic at any cost the train is frozen to the tracks for now but it's tempting to remedy that situation i suggest you pick up the pace at last but not least a big hand for the little lady thanks but i can't imagine it's not the fur i, I could get used to the fur it's the chatter like this all some massive joke can't see how scared i am how scared we all are i don't get it she proact she practically nukes the guy who calls me a monster but she can't stand to look at me it's pulled loose jump from this height you'll be killed iceman the circle line tour boat i see it beast okay made a nice slide for him line forms to the rear folks salvation is just an ice slide away it's gonna eat us not if i can help it go on go it's coming right for him. Is he crazy? Hank, darn it, move. A section of railing ought to do the trick. Wang. That's one positive result from the urban disaster, Trish. It might cost us our lives, but it made you call me Hank. Stop it, stop it. What does it matter what I call you? What you're, what are you gawking at? This isn't a sideshow. Get off the bridge and take everyone else with you. The railing, it's bending under the train's weight. Hank's strong, but he's not invulnerable. He'll try to wrestle that thing single-handedly and he'll be crushed. Cables are snapping around steel cables. Trains, train gets its energy from the third rail. Wonder what it'd take to short it out. Cease, desist, Trish, get out of here. Why, it'd take so long for me to realize. Same old Hank, better vocabulary, but the same macho attitudes. Let me out there first, gonna take on the world. No, no, let me save you. Let me die. That's the kind of thinking that got you covered with fur. What are you doing? Cutting to the head of the line for the pearly gates? Never entered my head, not with you around. Go on, get down. This thing's dangerous. Iceman, he's busy getting people off the bridge. It's just me and me. It's just you and me. Keep that thing busy for a few seconds more, okay? Trish, no, it's dangerous. Funny comment from the likes of you. The jokes may play well in Milwaukee, but they don't fool me. Not anymore. They're sleight of hand magician's patter. They serve to distract the audience. Why you look for some new way to die? Well, not this time. Not if I have anything to do with it. Cable's heading smack for the third rail. If you're going to save me, Hank, you better do it now. Okay, that's the animation of him jumping up and grabbing her. Shrek, boom. Manhattan is a changeling city. The ship is a silver bullet aimed straight at its monstrous heart. A silver bullet that can stop the monster, but only if it arrives in time. It's maddening, Scott. I, I can't pick up anything from Christopher. Anything at... Wait, there's something else. Not the baby. Energy. What the heck? Every instrument on the ship just shorted out. Look, Scott, a star. What the? Current issue of New Mutants and Exterminators have further details. Oh, well, that's the gate. That's... Uh, I could tell because that's Nastir's limbo gate. Crap. Boom. Lightning, we've been hit. We're going down. Blow off the canopy. Scott, that swooping thing. I know, it used to be a copter. It's swallowing our ship. I set the auto-destruct to explode over the Atlantic. Boom. The sky, Gene, look at the sky. All the demons are teleporting from limbo. A circle of light north of us, over Times Square, coming from the circle, coming right at us. What are they? Oh my lord. Oh, fucking demons from limbo. Here they come. Told you guys it was get the story was getting warmed up. It's a slow burn and then boom. While blocks away on the East River, welcome to the SS Circle line. Listen, Beast, I haven't had much chance to read the papers in the last few days, but has anyone scheduled a major firework display for this evening? Fireworks? Oh, my stars and garters. That's no ordinary fireworks. Zap, crack, Scott's optic blast. He's there. Gene's probably with him. So what are we waiting for? Trish, Trish, I go do your thing. Not one crack or flip remark. Just go. Only try not to get yourself killed this time, okay? You're not the Hank I knew, but you're a guy I'd like to know a whole lot better. Oh, she gives him a kiss. He's super motivated now. Meanwhile, trash cans are hurling themselves at us. Th that's not all. Zap. Aye. Demons, more of them. A horde against the two of us. We'll never. Iceman. Ram. Crack. Beast, I slide. Marvelous Marvel Girl. What? What? Where were you? Salvaging Hank's love life. Hey, pal, I took the blame for your breakup. Might as well take credit for your success. Save your breath for fighting, igloo face. Looks like you're gonna need it. There must be hundreds of them against the four of us. What are they? Where do they come from? I hope that we survive to learn the answer. But that prospect grows more doubtful with every new arrival. Good old beast, master of the obvious. Shriek, slick. Freaking angel comes through. Bam. Warren. 
Angel, Death, all of his names. All right, people, here's the break we've been waiting for. Let's do it. Cut them, freeze them, blow them apart, slink, zap, wham, whatever it takes to get the job done. We got Scott in leader mode here. Why are you here? How did you know? Cameron Hodge killed Candy Southern and I killed Hodge. The demons were Hodge's allies. Maybe you shouldn't come so close to me, Genie. I'm not what I was. I'm tainted, dangerous. I've lost myself. But we found you. You've come home. See, this is all X Factor. This is all the original X Men. So when Claremont took over, then they did the giant size X Men. And that's when they started introducing Storm and, and Wolverine, Colossus, all them on the other team. And then X Factor became this new team, which was the all the OG. From the original we follow demons here too. warren they have scott's son they want to kill him look the sky again scott the static's gone i i found little christopher scott the demons have landed they're scanning the city can't find what know who who they're looking for they say if they can't sacrifice him they'll eat him now and that's supposed to be baby cable come on he's scared scott so talk to him genie you have all of us to support you now. Let him know we'll support him. Tell him his daddy knows where he is now, that he loves him, that he's coming to save him. I'll say we'll all save him, all of us together. Nastir, the Goblin Queen, Mr. Sinister, X-Factor, who'll get the baby? Find out in A Matter of Honor on sale in 30. Bam. All right. So now we're getting them teleporting in. Oh, this shit gets good, dude. Awesome. That's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this out to any and everyone that you think is interested in real Star Wars and real Marvel content. Until next time, see you later.